Hi friends, this is Aparna and welcome to Aparna's Magic. Let's go to the kitchen and let's get started. We need boiled soya, that means uble hue soya chunks. This is chopped capsicum, that means chopped shimla mitch. This is mustard seed or sarso and jeera, that means cumin seeds. This is grated ginger, that means grated adrak. This is haldi powder or turmeric powder. This is Kashmiri red chilli powder. This is bhuna hua jeera powder, that means roasted cumin powder. This is amchur powder, that means dried mango powder. This is ginger paste, that means adrak ke paste. This is tomato ketchup. This is chopped dhania patta, that means chopped coriander leaves. And curry patta, that means curry leaves. This is lemon or nimbu and butter, that means makkhan. Add 1 teaspoon of haldi powder or turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder, 1 tablespoon of this is adrak ki paste, that means ginger paste. Add salt to taste or namak and little bit of oil. Or tail. Now mix it nicely. This way. Our oil is nicely heated up. So put one tablespoon of jeera, that means cumin seeds, one tablespoon of mustard seed, that means sarso. Add 1 tablespoon of this is grated ginger, that means grated adra. And curry patta, that means curry leaves. Let them crackle. Now add the marinated boiled soya. Mix it. And let them fry for a while. They have been frying for 7 to 8 minutes now. So the stage add capsicum. That means shimla mitch. Mix it. Now add 1 teaspoon of this is bhuna hua jeera powder. That means roasted cumin powder. One teaspoon of this is amchur powder. That means dried mango powder. Little bit of salt or namak. And one tablespoon of this is tomato sauce or tomato ketchup. Mix it nicely. And let them cook again. They have been frying for another 2 to 3 minutes now. So it is almost done. To this stage, add chopped dhania patta, that means chopped coriander leaves, 1 dollop of butter or makkhan, and squeeze a lemon or nimbu. Mix it again. You are done. Stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel.
Hi friends, this is Aparna and welcome to Aparna's Magic. Let's go to the kitchen and let's get started. We need fish, two pieces. This is onion paste, that means payaj ki paste. This is elaichi, that means, that means cardamom and dalchini, that means cinnamon sticks. This is green chili or hari mirchi and this is adrak ki paste, that means ginger paste. This is haldi powder or turmeric powder. This is jeera powder, that means cumin powder. This is kaju paste, that means cashew nut paste. This is yogurt or dahi. This is garam masala powder. This is chopped dhaniya patta, that means chopped coriander leaves. And this is ghee. We have fish. Now add one teaspoon of this is haldi powder or turmeric powder. One teaspoon of this is adrak ki paste, that means ginger paste. Add little bit of salt or namak and mustard oil, that means sarso ki tel. Now mix it nicely. This way. Our oil is nicely heated up, so we are going to fry the marinated fish. Now let them fry for a while. They are nicely fried, so we are going to take them out. Now in the same oil put Ilachi, that means cardamom, and dalchini, that means cinnamon sticks. Now add one cup of onion paste, that means piyashki paste. Mix it. Now add one teaspoon of this is adrakki paste, that means ginger paste. Mix it and let them cook again. Our gravy is cooking for 5 to 6 minutes now. So in this stage, add kaju paste, that means cashew nut paste, around 3 teaspoon. Add jeera powder, that means cumin powder. Add salt to taste or namak. And sugar to balance it. That means chini. Mix it. Now add around 2 to 3 tablespoon of this is yogurt or dahi. Mix it again. Look at the beautiful yellow color. Now let them cook for a while. Our gravy is simmering for 6 to 7 minutes now. So in this stage, add fried fish and green chili or hari mirchi. Mix it very gently and let them cook again. Our gravy is simmering for another 5 to 6 minutes now. So it is almost done. So in this stage, add little bit of this is garam masala powder. Add chopped dhaniya patta, that means chopped coriander leaves. And 1 teaspoon of ghee. Mix it and you are done. Stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel.